What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're checking out the best features in Android O. Obviously this is a developer preview, so things are a little bit rough around the edges, but there's some cool stuff here for sure. First up, we have some updates to the lock screen, and ambient display mode has been slightly refreshed with a new look, but that's pocket change compared to the rest of the customization here on the lock screen. You know those little icons in the bottom corner on the pixel? Well, they can now be changed to nearly whatever you'd like. Within the settings, you can customize either the left icon or right icon to display any app you'd like or various tasks and it's a change I'm a big fan of and you can also use the toggle there to choose whether or not the shortcut unlocks the phone. Next up we have the ability to snooze notifications from specific apps. All you got to do is lightly swipe to the side on a notification and then tap the clock icon and here you'll be able to snooze specific notifications for either 15 minutes, 30 minutes or one hour. Along with that in the app settings you have a ton of customization options Options for notifications including categories or notification channels which we'll be able to take a full look at in a future build of Android O. But speaking of apps, we do have native app badge support which currently has a toggle in the app settings that'll work a lot like iOS does with a number representing how many notifications your app has waiting for you. Also new here are adjustments that can be made to the navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen. Of course we have the standard layout here which is normal but you can also shrink them down to be small and in the center which is kind of weird. But then we also have left-leaning and right-leaning options, depending on if you're left-handed or right-handed, that might come in handy. And there's also the ability to add extra right and left button types, which are currently limited to clipboard, key code, and keyboard switcher. But I expect to see a lot more of these as Android O is developed more, but they're all welcome changes. Another big visual change in Android O is in the settings app. And everything here has been overhauled to display a very plain black and white look. It almost looks a bit messier to my eye though, but changed nonetheless. Everything here has been grouped in categories as well for less scrolling, but I just really don't dig this layout slash look right at this moment in time, but maybe it'll grow on me. Android O also packs picture in picture for smartphones. So much like Apple has done with iOS on the iPad and Nougat did for Android TV, we will soon have the ability to watch a video and continue another task on an Android smartphone, which is great and we'll be able to check that out in full detail as it rolls out. Of course, there are a ton of under the hood changes here in regards to battery life and performance with Android O and most of these new features will need to be worked out a little more before we can show them off in a video and before the official launch but like I said we will explore Android O more in depth in a future video so be sure to subscribe if you want to catch that video when it drops and also leave this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the launch of Android O and new pixel devices in the near future but thank you so much for watching everyone this is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video